Oinye. Eh? When did you return from school? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, it's been four days now. Four days? Mm hmm Ah, uh, did you come alone? Where's Chidera? <laughs> of course we came back together. We are on vacation. <laughs> Wait a minute. You mean Odera has not come to see you? You mean Chidera has been in this town for four days and yes. I've not seen her? Oh my God. I am even surprised to hear this. It's unlike her. Wait. Wait, wait. Emeka didn't greet you. Why? He doesn't talk to me. He's not alone in it, himself and all his siblings. Since my uncle died, they've not been talking to me. What? Is it that serious? Are you sure Chidera is in this town? Yes, we came back together. Did you hear that? It seems Chidera is avoiding your uncle. Of course I heard it. Uh, of course you heard it. Emeka, doesn't that surprise you? For what? Tell me, why would he surprise me? Udoka, see, let me tell you, I saw it coming. I saw this thing coming. I knew that the very moment this girl steps her feet into the higher institution, she's going to abandon my uncle. I mean, the problem my uncle is having, he is too blind, too a okay. Tell me, what makes my uncle think that after exposing such a beautiful girl to the world, she will, she will still come back to him? Is that possible? Oh, Emeka, she can't possibly do that. Your uncle has sacrificed a whole lot for her. Come on. You find that so easy to say. Because you don't know women. You think there isn't the way you do. Look, let me tell you. I'm even happy this is happening to him. Honestly. At least let him finally come to realize the kind of woman he abandoned my father for. Nonsense. I beg, let's keep going. Is that why you stopped me? Come on, start beating somebody that does not deserve anything. Hey, go. Hmm, try a little fresh. Hmm, so, how is nothing smooth? Hmm, well, thank God. It's so interesting. As in, mm. you should join us. Mm. Hmm. Wait, are you in the same class with my sister? Just like a miracle, my dear. It's all of us are in the same class. As in, um, but I think it's only Oluchi. She's not in the same class with us. Mm. Mm. So why is she not in the same class with others? My dear, I don't know how they did it. But I think she must have been among the last people to do their registration. Mm -hmm. That was why. Right. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think so. Mm -hmm. So, you're going to join us in the nursing school, Abby? No, I'm scared. Hey, no. I go. Me. I want to be a lawyer. <laughs> no, no. Oh, so lawyer. A law. Who is going to sponsor it? <laughs> Your father that I know. <laughs> oh, who? Mm -hmm. mm. Don't worry. You'll be surprised when it happens. I will do magic. Hey, lawyer. I will be a lawyer. Ah, you will do magic and become a lawyer. Yes, so. When you can just quietly join us in the nursing school ah. where we already know the road. For we No, me, I want to wear that their uniform. You see that black and white inside. <laughs> and that their cap is what? Is it wig or what? Eh? That's it's with one. Hey, 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 hey. I will now wear it and now spruce like this. Nobody will wish me. My dear, come and join the nursing school. You know why? Why? At the end of the day, when you look at the lawyers and you look at the nurses, who do you want to be like actually? Sincerely tell yourself. Lawyer! Ah! You want to be a lawyer? Yes! When you look at nurses and you see the Blessed Virgin Mary. Blessed Guinea, Mbanana. That your cloth is cheap. Have you seen our shoe? That black, the way it's glitter. That's what I want to be wearing. Yeah, and ask put and ask put. Have you even heard lawyers speaking English? That's the section of the section of the case. And let me know when I start. Don't worry. <laughs> when I start. Oh, hey. Don't worry. At the end of the day, when you are sick, eh? In this, even inside the lockout, when you faint, they will bring you hey, to. Don't worry. I don't know where they will bring we you. We know how to take care of it. What's the problem? Nothing. I'm fine. No. You don't look fine to me. What's the problem? 
Or are you having issues with Onyeka? Onyeka? I haven't even seen him since I got back. <laughs> You're not serious. Why? Okay, I forgot. You what? You mean that you forgot to see Onyeka for like four days now since you came back from school? Sister, please tell me. What is really going on? What's going on? You said you told her? Yes, so I did. She was so curious, I had to. But I called while I was still with her. She was so curious. I had to let the cat out of the bag. But don't you think it's pretty early for you to have let her know what's her name? No, Mama, I did the right thing. Mama, see, brother would love it. I know. If he hears it, then he will so love it. Mama, all we just need to do is follow it up with conviction. That's all. You see, I don't want my son to marry those Uyibo women over there. Mm. That's why I want him to pick a wife from this our locality. Mm. Eh? Mm. So you said she spoke with Kenny. Hmm. Mama, she was pretty excited talking to brother. Hi, Mama. Don't worry. I will. Do this thing to work. Don't worry, don't you trust me? I might do this for me. Let's do this for me. Ah, Ujungwa, how are you? I'm fine. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, Uju, is it true that Chidera has been home for four days now? Really? Yes. She has not bothered to see me. I've been worried. What is wrong? Are you sure there's nothing wrong I did to her? Because I don't know if she's bearing any grudge against me. <laughs> Honey, come on. She bears you no grudges. It's just that she has been engaged with home activities since she came back. And guess what? Yesterday, she was lamenting about not being able to see you. She's sad about it. Trust she me. did? Yes. Ah, okay, that's some relief. I was worried. Okay. Please do tell her we have to see. Tell her to make it possible that we get to meet. I'm missing her so much, okay? Okay, I'll tell her and I'll make sure she sees you soon. Thank you. My regards to you. Okay, she'll be here. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye. No! <laughs> I've missed you. I've, I've missed, missed you so much. I've missed you more and you know it. <laughs> Look at you. I heard you've been back to this village for four days and you never bothered to come and see me. I'm so sorry. It's just that I had so much to do. I've been really busy since I got back. Hmm? You know, home chairs, school assignments, and etc. etc. But I'm so sorry. Ah, thank God. <laughs> Thank God, I was scared. I thought you deliberately did not want to see me. What for? Why would I want to do that? No, don't <laughs> even think about it. I'm sorry, okay? It's okay. <sighs> what do you have inside this? I'm so hungry. I actually haven't finished cooking. I was making stuff before I went out, but not to worry. Come and help me, so... <laughs> I'm very hungry. I have food. Come! <laughs> Guys, Sophia. What's up? 
you both know each other? Yes, she's my friend. Um, um, I, I guess he's your... Boo? Boo? Please, what is boo? Your boyfriend. Oh, well, okay, I could give you guys a lift if you don't mind. Uh, no, don't worry. Thank you so... Uh, no, don't worry, we, we, we are just going down the road here, we're almost there. Dude, I can give you a ride. Thank you, not to worry, I appreciate it, but this is where we are going, we are looking at it now. <sighs> Okay. Thank you. That girl offered us a ride. Why did you turn her down? I was even going to ask you. Why were you so eager to jump into her car? Because she's my friend. And she offered us a ride innocently. She's your friend? That girl? Who is she and where did you know her from? <laughs> that does not matter. What matters is that she's a nice person and she means no harm. Uh-uh. I even wanted to even enter her car because I was tired of trekking. You tired of trekking? Yes, I am tired of trekking. In case you did not notice, Kidera. You didn't go inside the house, so what am I doing here? I'm waiting for you. You didn't tell me you were coming straight to my house. How would you know? When your baba refused me saying a word, <laughs> and maybe he thinks that I want to take you away from him. <laughs> or did you tell him anything? Of course not. See, don't mind Onyeka. At times he's very possessive. Mm -hmm. That is not funny. It's not funny at all. I mean, what is a pretty and ambitious girl like you? doing with such such low life that guy is so primitive girl he's primitive very you don't know Onyeka eh he's a nice boy I don't need to know him was it not a nigga I saw with you what is uh, what else is there for me to know him there's nothing for me to know him I don't want to know him um, Sophia can we discuss something else <laughs> of course I'm sorry it's just that I don't mean to pry into your privacy, okay? But I wouldn't see what is wrong and, and not say it. You're not just anyone to me. You're my friend. And I love you so much. Okay? Okay, look. Please do not misconstrue my innocent opinion just because I want you to marry my brother. It's 100% your decision to make, honestly. It's just that I want you to make the right choice. See, Onyeka and I have really come a long way. He has done so much for me and I feel indebted to him. You are indebted to no one. You own your life and you have the right to make the decision pertaining your future. Not because some nigger did you some little favor. You feel that you can deprive what really matters to you and that is your freedom. See, you don't understand. Eh? I owe Onyeka. You owe Onika. What do you owe him? Money? Tell him to me his price. I will pay for it. She feels indebted to him. Probably because he's the one sponsoring her schooling. Really? Uh -huh. Um, from the look of things, I I don't think she's into the guy. Nah. She just feels indebted to him. Yeah? Really? And I even told her that I can repay him whatsoever he thinks that she owes him. We can repay him. And uh, what did she say when you told her that? Absolutely nothing. 
You don't mean it? Yes, that's a surprising thing. Come, does that mean that when the debts are repaid, she's good to go? Possibly. Mama, I was warmly received when I visited. I think we need to visit the father. Kenneth must marry Chidera. She deserves better. Hmm. I don't want. You're too much. Thank you, In fact, I owe you for this. Thank you, ma'am. But um, in this uh, kind of movement, I think we need your uncle's support. Hmm? Because you know we are both women. Mm -hmm. And um, traditionally, when a man goes with us, it will make our movement more authentic. Yes, eh? I will send you to your uncle. Um, so that's it, Uncle. I think it's high time we pay them a proxy visit. Ah. Okay, um, Sophia, can you just tell me the truth? Are you really saying you have so bonded well with this girl? Oh, yes, Uncle. Mommy, I don't think she's much of a problem, yeah? I think what we should be worried about is the family, how they will react to it. And uh, who knows? They may help us in convincing her. I mean, all we need to do is to sound very convincing to them. And I don't think any sane parent would rather prefer that poor, illiterate orphan to my wealthy, educated son who resides abroad. I mean, the difference is clear. Look, and I'm listening, both of you. As Nan Hey Guanum be credible and Anun Dins <laughs> are there. What I mean is, uh, if you are sure of what you're saying, we should go ahead and we should start immediately. Mm. Uh huh. Yeah. That's, that's fine. Yeah, man. Uh huh. I can't do it. I know the number of this. Wonderful reception. And as a matter of fact, without much ado, let me quickly tell you why we are here. <laughs> we are here on behalf of our son Kenneth, who is in abroad. He sent me to come with them and deliver a gift to your family. And then when I inquired from him why he wants that kind of thing, he confessed that he is interested in your daughter. Okay. Mm. Mm. So, um, my very self, as a traditionalist, as a titled man, when you man and man, okay, I don't know, no, you are more noble. I told him that it shouldn't be that way. That things must be done in the proper way, traditionally. But he confessed that he actually did not want me to come and propose on his behalf. But he wants us to come and deliver this gift. That himself will come very, very soon to do the proposal by himself. <laughs> and um, we were comfortable with that. But uh, just last night, to my greatest surprise, I, I received a call. I never knew that he has been communicating with your daughter. So uh, that is why we are here. <laughs> uh, uh, 
Well, I must confess that uh, I'm also surprised to hear this. Honestly, I did not know that there have been any contacts. Chara uh, So, have you been communicating with him? Yes, Papa. <laughs> I told you. And uh, he did propose to you. Yes, Papa. Uh, uh, well, you have heard it from the horse's mouth. Hmm? Um, but considering what you said earlier, um, a blind girl was told that suitors were coming for her. She said, until I hear tobom in between my legs. Uh, so, I will pretend that I did not hear anything until I hear it from your son himself. Uh, okay. eh? yes. I, I, on that note, let your daughter get prepared because very, very soon <laughs> she will hear to boom in between her legs. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you are welcome, my people. Yes. Um, Ujungwa. Wangwangwa, share the gala, share the booze. Nine. What exactly are you saying? Eh? Are you going to give your daughter to that young man? A stranger you barely know? Betraying the innocent on Yekachi? Who has sacrificed a lot for this family? What, eh? what nonsense are you talking about, Analog? Eh? What nonsense are you talking about? Who is Onye Kanshi compared with Kenneth, the young man in, in question? Kenneth is a young man who has made so much money. He lives money. He smells money. What Kenneth has achieved, your so-called Onye Kanshi cannot achieve it, even in his next world. Nine, let me tell you, don't be too quick in judging tomorrow. Oh yes, Onyeka, for all I know, is an ambitious and a hard-working young man. What matters here is the love they shared for each other, and not money! Look, for all I know, he is done and busted. What you are seeing now is his, is his future. He, there is nothing left of him. So, I wouldn't want you to talk about Onye Kanshi when we are discussing a suitable husband for my precious daughter. Hey. You don't, don't bring him in at all! Ah. Can you just hear yourself? Oh, 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 so she is now your precious daughter. Chidera is now your precious daughter. But you bluntly refuse to send her to higher institution to study a course of her choice. Are you now forgetting in a hurry that it was that same Monye Kachi that made her to be in the higher institution? Eh? And it was her academic ambition that attracted that family to her. Is she forgot? Woman, you are analog. We are in a digital age. Hmm? So I'm not going to engage in any baseless discussion with you. Count me out. I'm not, I'm, I'm not part of this baseless argument. Count me out. You even called me an Count me out. Nay. Nay, you check it if we are. Hey! Sister, say something. Say something. Hey! You're the one involved in this whole thing. Father cannot make decisions for you. Neither can any of us. What's your decision on this? You're not going to leave Onyeka after all he has done for you and the family, are you? I... I tried to explain all of this to Sophia. But... She... She promised to refund the money. Everything Onyeka has spent on me oh. and the family. Oh, she even said that. Oh, nice girl. This family is a good man. Nine, can you just listen to yourself? I am so ashamed of you. And you, Chidera, what was your response when she said that? From the way you are sounding, don't tell me you are with your father. Chidera, don't tell me you are with your father. Say something, I say something. 
What's your stand in this? Hey! Let me say something more. Hmm? Ha! Chidara! Hmm. Oswagi! Hey! Chidara! Sister, Ojumwa, what exactly is going on? What do you mean? You know what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? You've been silent about this whole thing. You refuse to make your stand clear. Don't tell me you're even considering ditching Onyeka just because of money. Because that will be the highest level of betrayal. Not after all he has done for you. And who says I'm thinking about that? You may not have voiced it out. But the attitude suggested. You need to be pronounced. I expect you to come out and stand with him if you truly love him like you claim. I am not claiming. I love Onyeka. Oh, you do? Then prove it. brother sent it. This is Johnny. He will teach you how to drive. <laughs> take, take the kill. My own? Yes, yes. <laughs> the car, <laughs> the same day I taught you how to drive. Well, no, here you're driving so well. <laughs> See, you, you don't even know me. The same way I learned to drive this car, same way I passed all my nursing examination. <laughs> Why do you think I'm in nursing school if not for this? Really? Besides, it's an automatic car. Eh? Really the only thing I did was to just follow all your instructions and bam, really I'm good. there. Really, really really <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. God bless you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you too. <laughs> um, thank you too. Thank you. This is your driving license. Yeah. I'm ready for you. Hi. Yeah. It's so nice. Yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you too. So I'm free to go now, right? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Let, let me drop you now. Uh, okay. At least let me let me put to practice everything you thought to me. Let me see your hand now. Finally. <laughs> Is this? Mine. I came to show it to you. Yours. How? <laughs> See, you remember that girl we met on the road that day? That girl now. Which girl? <laughs> Late Ichi Ogwefi's daughter. The one whose brother stays abroad. Uh -huh, exactly. She handed the card to me. She told me her brother sent it to me. I didn't get how. Why, why would her brother send you a card? Okay. I know I have not told you, 
but the brother proposed to marry me. How do you mean he proposed to marry you? But I have not accepted. No, wait, 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 wait a minute. You have not accepted. Or you will not accept because they are both different things. See, do not misunderstand me. I, I have not accepted and I will not accept it. If you haven't accepted and you will not accept it, then why accept his gift? What are you doing with his car? Because I need it. You what? See, my mates in school, they all drive their cars to class. And this car will really save me a whole lot of trouble. Believe me, Odera. You don't need this car. Send it back. Return it. Eh? What? Return the car. Ha! Me, I will not return it all. This car will help me a lot, so I don't want to return it. Do you know what you're saying? Keeping another man's car, what are you going to do with it? Return this car. It's not just a car. It's a gift. How can you act as though you're a child? What kind of gift is that? Or did I return this car? Yeah, I don't want to return it to this guy. This guy is going to miss you. need to see the way my mate used to drive to school. It doesn't matter. Return this guy. You don't... want me to be checking on that on every time. Why, why are you treating me like this now? Please, I like this car. I want to keep it. Don't ask me to return it because I won't. Ah. Ha! Breaking news. Hmm. hmm. Which breaking news? Oh my god. We now have a new car that will be taking us to school. Yes. No more keke, okada, buses, anything. God has done it for us. I am confused <laughs> here. God has done what? <laughs> she didn't have a new car. We saw her learning how to drive and she confirmed to us that the car is her own. Oh my god. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Are you serious? Please, where? We saw her long against the road just now. I would love to see with my own eyes. Let me rush and see. Please, can you guys take me back there? Please. Oh, please, please. Oh, please, please. So I heard right. Hmm? Is this the car late Ichie Obwefi's son sent to you? Yes. And I just went to show it to Onyeka. And he ordered me out of his compound, asked me to return the car. I don't know what makes him think that he, he can control my life. What are you talking about, Odera? Eh? <laughs> Why would you even accept his gift in the first place? And I heard he's proposed to you. Does that mean you have finally accepted his proposal? Of course not. Then why accept his gift? Why accept his gift? And you had the nerve to show it to Onyeka. How could you? Why won't I? Listen. Onyeka has not even asked me to marry him yet. So, tell me, why shouldn't I be open to possible suitors? But you know everything he's done for you is because he wants to marry you. He's interested in you becoming his wife. Am I a witch? How am I supposed to know that when he hasn't even spelled it out? Girlfriend! What happened to you? I thought you love Onyeka. Of course. I love Onyeka. I love him so much. But, like I said earlier, he has not asked me to marry him. And even if he does, I fear for our future, you know. Because... He looks like someone that is stuck in this village forever. And you know me now. Eh? I've always wanted to break out. See, I have greater dreams for myself. Then, that is your answer. You have already made up your decision. <laughs> then why pretend? You think I'm pretending? Listen, Onine. I just want you to also see things from my own angle. See things from what angle, Odera? That you have made up your mind to drop a poor guy that has sacrificed so much for you because of a rich stranger that showed up from nowhere. <laughs> I can see you're already cruising with his car. What else are we saying? 
It's a jackpot. Oni, you are my best friend. And I wouldn't want us to have an argument over this. Say, okay. Just come into the car, let me cruise you around, okay? Are you aware that Onyeka is an only son who lost his parents at a tender age? He has suffered. I knew how he suffered to raise some of the money that he spent on you for you to go to this nursing school. Think and think. You see all these early things. Someday they will fade away. But that person who loves you will be here with you. <laughs> Thank you. I am not interested. Yes. Wait, Onye. What has suddenly come over you? I should be asking you that, Odera. What has gotten over you? Does he have you doing? What is it? Is, <laughs> yes, Papa. That's the AC. <laughs> yes, that's so. Yes, Papa. Eh? So, this is what this rich man enjoy every day. Mm. My daughter, God really loves you. Okay. Imagine how God has decided to lift you from Obwenye to a second. <laughs> eh? And what was that nonsense you were telling your mother that you were considering what? Eh? Papa, the truth is that the whole thing is really getting to me. Eh? Everyone keeps telling me that I am making the wrong decision. Mm, mm, mm. Does it look like we are making the the, 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 the wrong decision here? But no, not at all. Just think of what your life will be if you marry Kenneth. Eh? In fact, there's nobody who loves you. Who will advise that you marry that poverty stricken uh, Onyakanshi mm. over Kenneth? So, Papa, you think I'm making the right choice? Bam! Bam! Hey, don't look back. Eh? This is a lifetime opportunity. No woman will want to miss this. My daughter, I'm telling you. Eh? Okay, Papa. Can I see no when you're unknown to poor? Yes! Papa, just enjoy it. Oh. In fact, let me even play music for you. Eh. Yeah, yes, sir. Eh. Chidera is getting married to a late chief, Ogwefi's son. That one that lives abroad. What, what did you say, Amaki? Exactly, brother. That Chidera is getting married to a late chief, Ogwefi's son. The one that lives abroad. Eh? He even bought her a car, of which she received through the sister this morning. And a couple of minutes ago, I saw her at, uh, what's that her name again? Uh, Madam Quality's bar, yes. Buying everyone present there pepper soup and drinks. I saw this thing coming. I saw it coming. I knew that that girl would never marry Uncle Onyeka. Never. You see, that girl has this egoistic aura that makes you feel she will never settle for less. But I wonder why Uncle Onyeka didn't see this thing at the initial stage. Was it not in the bid to please her that he abandoned Papa to die? Was of it course, not? Of course. And I even told him. I told him that he's going to regret this thing one day. Man. I wish I could just set my eyes on him now. I would have just laughed the hell out of him. <laughs> I'm telling you. So myopic. What nonsense. Hey, hey. Uncle Onyeka. This is too bad. This is not good at all. Ah. Sister, don't tell me you feel sorry for Uncle Yenka. Because he deserves it. 
He deserves it. Search me right. I don't understand, my dear. He sacrificed a lot for that young lady. She shouldn't have done that to him. I shall leave that one. Eh? That's right. women for you. Let me tell you, there is no reasonable woman that likes a reasonable thing. I'm being honest with you. They don't love men that genuinely love them, if you don't know. So forget about that, your pity and whatever. But I disagree with you, Umban. Not all women. Yes. As for me, if I should see a man that will love me half as much as Uncle Yeka loved Chidera, eh? I would love and appreciate that man for the rest of my life. So me, eh, Chidera is just an ungrateful person. She's a very stupid girl. Look at this one. Who taught you about love? <laughs> That's my own move. I'm saying my own. You're right, my dear. Yes. And you, what do you know about women? Huh? Let me tell you. Most women don't like reasonable things. I'm telling you. This is not good. That, he deserves it. Are you sure of what you heard? Ah. Me, I was there now. I saw her buying them pepper soup and drinks. I was there. I was there. <laughs> don't feel pity for him. Don't put that face up. She, she deserves it. Return that girl to whoever that gave it to you. Why now? Mama, please stop. I don't want to have this conversation with you again. Give me a break, please. Shut up your mouth. Return that car and snap back to your senses because you are completely losing it. Oh, Mama, please. I know what I'm doing. Mr. you go your sister! You know nothing. You are losing it, and I will not be party to anything that will suggest you hurt on your kitchen after all he has done for you. But it's not just about him. Don't you consider other things? What else is there to consider? Your greed? Eh? Mama, so that's what you now think about me? That I'm being greedy and unreasonable too? Chidara, instead of you using your head, you are allowing your excessive love for material things to do the thinking for you. Oh, I am so ashamed of you, Mama. Please, I don't have time. Where are you going? You sister, stupid. Sister, listen to mother. Hey, just keep your mouth shut and stay out of this. How do you expect me to do that? When you're making a grievous mistake. Mistake? <laughs> what are you calling a mistake? What do you even know? Oh, believe me, sister. I know a lot. I know that you do not love this man. You only want to marry him because of his money. I know that your chances of being happy in the marriage is slim. Because you two do not know each other. I also know that the man may not even love you. Because you don't know exactly what he wants from you. This is what you now, now wish on your own sister. An unhappy marriage. No sister. I don't wish you an unhappy marriage. We are only being realistic here. Marriages like this ends up a failure because of obvious reasons. Besides, do you even have conscience at all? How do you think Onyaka will feel about this? Like I said earlier, the world does not revolve around Onyeka, okay? Besides, my happiness should count to the both of you. You say happiness? Let me ask you, what makes you think You'll be happy living with a total stranger. Ask her. Eh? I can now see that both of you are conspiring against me. It's okay. I guess I better leave the house to the both of you. Return Please enjoy. Return that car! Return the Return the Return the car! Return the car! Return the car! Return the car!
<laughs> How are you? I'm fine, Even thank you. Mom. I understand your husband sent you a car. Is this the car? Yes, but he's not yet my husband. What else is left? When himself, Kenneth, has already pronounced you as his wife. Even we, his people, we are beginning to recognize you as our son's wife. <laughs> my dear, you are a very lucky maiden. You don't know how lucky you are. As a matter of fact, you don't know what the gods have done for you by bringing Kenneth your way. Is it okay? But Nai, do you think Kenneth is a good person? You know, I've not met him before. Do you think I'll be happy with him? Why are you sounding like a child? Are you not perceiving the happiness already on the air? Even around you? Yeah? Now listen. Do you know how many maidens out there that are struggling just to get to your position? So many of them, and they are ready to do anything, to go any length, just to be like you. Listen. Kenneth is my late brother's son, and he is like a son to me. Let me tell you the truth. Kenneth is a very good boy. Very, very good boy. And talking about happiness, I am assuring you, there's no doubt, you are going to have 100% happiness with him. <laughs> you see, you see, people may want to deceive you, advise you from left, from right, but don't listen to them. Oh. Don't, oh. Uh, because, don't, don't ever lose Kenneth because if you do, you will regret it. Thank you so much, Unai. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes, okay. uh, Unai, where are you going to? Let me drop you. Yeah, I, I, I want to see somebody there. Yes. Okay, uh, Unai, come inside now. Let me turn and drop you. Oh. Hey. <laughs> now you come inside. Come inside. Go this way now. Anywhere at all. Come, let me drop you. <laughs> Everything has not happened though. Hey. <laughs> by the time it happens, by the time my daughter gets married to Kenneth, I'm sure they'll be sending me foreign wine every month. And even this guy here. I believe my daughter will leave it for me. That is if my diaspora in-law has not bought me that one. My daughter says it's one of the biggest cars. I think she said it's a Bugatti. That is if he has not bought me that Bugatti before then. I think the only thing that is better than money it's more money. <laughs> and someone out there is trying to discourage my daughter. That person, the thunder will, that will fire him, is still doing rehearsals at Obogologo. I will not take it kindly with anybody who will stand between my daughter and Kendo. Hey! Nice. Mm. Good afternoon. How from again? What you catch? How may I help you? Um, I have come to see Kidera. And why do you want to see my daughter? Uh, she, she has been avoiding me for some time now. I have come to find out if everything is okay. 
The reason is because she has moved on. My daughter is getting married to a man after her heart. What are you talking about? You cannot do this to me now. You know I love Chidera very much and she loves me. You can't marry her off to another man when I'm there. Onye Kachi. I understand you perfectly well. And I understand that you have done so much for my daughter. And this family. You even came to my rescue when I was abandoned at the hospital. And to show you how much we appreciate all your efforts, I want you to name your prize and I will pay you double. No, honestly, this is not about money. It's all about money. You remember the very day you walked in here and signed up to sponsor my daughter in school. I made it clear to you that that did not mean that you will have a leverage over her. But to show you how generous I could be, I want you to learn you are price. And I will pay you double. This is not a, Don't do this to me, please. I love your daughter so well. And she knows that. She cannot marry another man and leave me. Please. And I don't love you enough to spend the rest of my life with you. Uh -uh. I have the right to choose whoever I want to get married to. Please. I owe no one my life. Onye Kasi, you have really tried for me. And I feel indebted to you. And, but I cannot kill myself because of all of this. So, like Papa said, name your price and we will gladly pay you. Chidera, did you just say this? Yes. Yes. See, I have come to realize that you are not the right man for me. So, I've decided to marry someone else. See, let's not further aggravate this issue. Hmm? Don't make this difficult for yourself. Just name your price and we'll pay you double. Listen, Onyeka, don't be shy. I know you need the money, eh? Be fast about it. So some people are not husband materials. They are looking for wife materials. You are not bottom. But if you want to eat soup, that is a bottom. It's not possible. It's not possible. Only an article for Thomas is where you offer the bottom. If I am, if I am, in the world, I'm happy. A baby, no, for Guinea come, Miriki, for Guinea come, Miriki, and it will be. And why are you crying in the middle of the road by this hour of the day? What happened? Please talk to me. Chidera, I, 
I, I went to tell us I was just coming from there. <laughs> oh my god. Talk to me. What happened? Okay, what did she say to you? That makes you cry like a baby. What? Today I planning to get married to another man. I went there in search of her and her father told me that I wasn't welcome, that she would get married to another man. And if I knew children I came out and said I told it to my face that she didn't love me. And she was getting married to someone else. Is this fair? After everything we have been through together. What? You mean Chidera said all this to you? I wouldn't be alive and let it happen. I will kill myself. I will die if she gets married to another man. I can't live alone. I can't stand it. After all I have done for her, after all we have been together, she wants me to, to be alone when she gets married to another man. I will die. I will kill myself. It's I okay. won't let it happen. It's okay. It has not gotten to this level. It has not gotten mm. to that. Please, don't. Then why don't you just go ahead and kill yourself? Kill yourself! You deserve it! Because of you, my father died. You abandoned my father to die in the hospital because of that, 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 that stupid Chidera. You abandoned my father to die in the hospital. Someone who took you in as his own son. Eh? Why don't you just kill yourself? Die! Follow him! Kill yourself already! Amaka! Enough! You are talking to your uncle. <laughs> uncle, you say? No, 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 no. The other say you say uncle. This man, my uncle. Okay, yeah? My uncle. This same man. Who abandoned his father? If he knows the value of family, eh? he wouldn't have chosen Chidera over his own uncle who took him in as a son after his parents' death. Now you tell me, who does he know in this full village? Who does he know how my father took him in as a son after he lost his own parents? My father sacrificed a lot for him. He even sold a piece of land to train him in secondary school. Now tell me why he should treat someone who helped him with. with tell me why. You, Kill yourself already, die! Amaka, you are not helping his condition. Please, just stop! And, wait, you think I'm here to help him? No, 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 really. You think I'm here to help him? Me, me. Hey, me, Amaka, help him. Amaka, leave this place. Now, leave! Are you serious? And what if I don't? What if I leave. don't? Will you force me? It's okay, let her be. Leave her alone to vent her anger on me. I deserve it. I cost it all. Oh, you just heard him, Abby? Did you just hear him? He knows he cost it. He knows. And he knows he deserves what he's getting right now. Oh, bitch. Hmm. It's okay. It's not okay. Don't tell me it's okay. She thought I was to marry another man. What do you want me to do? I will kill myself. Oh. No. I will kill myself. Oh. No, no, no. Mm. I will talk to her. It's okay. Mm. Let's leave this place. Brother, I saw Uncle Chideo and he doesn't seem to be surviving the loss of Chidera. Oh, yes, now. I wouldn't expect him to have come over that shock now. I mean, this is a girl he loves so much and he has sacrificed a lot for. Do you understand? So he's, pra he's practically going to live with that for the rest of his life. I pity him though. Pity? You pity him for Yeka? Hey, me, as for me, I don't feel any pity for him. Oh. He deserves it. Yes, for him to have chosen a total stranger over his own family. And now the stranger has shown him the stuff she's made of. He deserves it. Sure, Maka, let me tell you, forget that thing you're saying. Uncle Yeka is a very nice man. Honestly, he doesn't deserve that. Hmm. Uncle Yeka, a nice man. Okay. If he is a nice man, like you said, he wouldn't have abandoned Papa to die in the hospital. He's a very wicked man, or he's wicked. No, he's not wicked. He's I understand wicked. that was a very big mistake on his own side, of which I know he regrets up to now. <laughs> but that doesn't make him a wicked person. Don't talk like that. Uncle Yeka does not feel any remorse. If he does, I would know. But even as I'm here, I'm never ready to forgive him. Never. I will never forgive him. No, you will. I will not. Oh. He's your uncle. I hope I you know that. Be, I'll be man. He's not my uncle. Uh, Chamaka, just forget that. Don't talk like that. 
I understand that Onkoye can make a very big mistake, but don't call him a wicked person. But now let's leave women out of this. Women or no women, Onkoye is a very wicked man. I hope you know he's your uncle. He's not. After that incident, I don't see him as a nice man anymore. No, he's that wicked. What have I done to deserve all this? After all the love I shed, after all the things we've done, now you've left me in the middle of the dark. I gave you my heart, I gave you my love, I gave you my trust. Now. Onyeka, I heard you have been like this for over a week now. That you have refused to attend to your patients, go to farm or do anything else. Why? I can't go anywhere. Where do you want me to go without Chidera? I, I can't function without her. Now she has followed that Kenneth sister to the city. Before I know it now, they will travel to Budoibu. And I'll be left here alone. Why would Tidera do this to me? Do you know how much I love her? I do. You don't. If you did, you wouldn't be saying this. Why would she treat me this way after all this time? Or everything I've suffered for after what we've been through together? Why? Is it because of money? Just money. Onyeka, Odera is a fool. She does not know what she has in you. That was why she left you with such ease. I don't want to believe she has left me. I know she will come back. I am afraid that will not happen. What do you mean by that, Udoka? Chidera has finally agreed to marry Kenneth. And as we speak right now, Kenneth people are at her place making their marriage plans. That is not possible. She's in the city. No. She's in this village now. She came back this morning. Are you sure of what you're saying? I wouldn't be telling you if I'm not sure. I'm very sure. I have to go and see her. No. What difference would that make? She has made her choice. You can't make her change her mind now. There is nothing you will say that will make her do that. It seems desperate and hopeless as if your life revolves around her let her be if she's going to change her mind she will do that on her own and nobody will make her do that Tell me that you do not know you are making a huge mistake. Tell me! Honey, what is this about? Come, let's just go inside. Then let's go. Come, come. This is not why I am here. Do not pretend. You know exactly what I am talking about. Odera, how could you say that to Onyeka? After all he's done for you. After all you guys have shared. After all the emotional commitment. Oh, you think the best thing to do is to pay him off with money? Oh my God. How could you be so unreasonable? I thought I knew you. I thought you were my friend. How could you? So, all this ranting is because of Onyeka. Oh, it's not worth it. Are you being real or you've lost your sanity? All because of some money that has been splashed on you. Tell me! Hey, 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 hey! Hold it right there. And what are you talking about? What's, what, what was all this? You stay out of this. After all, you are the cause of this whole thing. You bought my friend's sanity with your brother's questionable wealth. Stop it, Stop it! I will not have you talk to her this way. 
What's going on here? Eh? This girl again. What's going on here? Papa, it's good you're here. This swine is trying to quarrel your daughter simply because she doesn't want to marry who she wants her to marry. I don't, I don't get it. I really. beg of you, do not call me names. I won't take it from you. You don't have the right to come in here and say just such nonsense. Now, leave my compound. Will you leave my compound? If you do this, okay. this same girl. Very wicked. This same girl. Papa, please don't. Papa, please. Eh? Papa, please. Eh? It's still you. This is the second time this girl is coming in here to create problems for me. If I see you here again, eh? I will. Papa, please, yeah, it's okay. She's such a swine. A swine. Please. Hey! Papa, just please. jealous. Simply jealous. Papa, she's just jealous. My dear. Papa. Please. Don't get your brother in no, 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 not at all. She's just jealous. She's jealous. Yes. It's okay. It's okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let us go. She's just jealous of you. She's, she's jealous of you. Has it always been like this? <sighs> My dear. One more. Everybody around thinks that they wants to make the decision for her. That is madness. That is total madness. I mean, we've passed that age where family and friends make decisions for one person. No. No. This days is entirely the person involved, 100% to make her decision. I mean, it's that person that will live with her partner day in, day out. Not these people. Exactly what I'm trying to make my daughter understand to make the best decision for herself exactly mm, but the pressure on me is not is not allowing me to think straight eh everyone is trying to make me understand that I'm making a very wrong decision I'm just confused papa yes my dear I'll be leaving for the city tomorrow it's just a suggestion. I'm suggesting that Odera follows me, at least to clear off this whole thing. Then when school resumes, she comes back. By that time, her brain must have cooled down. This whole thing would have just subsided. It's just a suggestion. Mm. Uh, I, I think she needs that break. Exactly. Mm? She needs it. Mm. I hope it's okay by you. It's settled. Uh, so, when did you say you people are leaving for the city? Um, first thing in the morning, I'll come and pick her up. Then, mm. Papa, mm. I'll give you something small to, you know, for cooler. Mm, mm. 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 It's alright. It's okay, by you. Yes. Huh. Thank you. Welcome to my brother's house. <laughs> Abu, don't worry, I'll call you when I need you, okay? Okay. Let's go in. Welcome to my brother's beautiful home. <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> this house is so big, oh. And it's very beautiful. Oh, really? You like? I love it. <laughs> that explains. That is quite expensive. Hey! <laughs> you know, that explains why my brother loves you. Hmm? You know, the moment he saw your photo, he was like, Sophia, I have found my wife. Really? I'm telling you. Look, I have no doubt that my brother loves you. He might not have met you in person, but I have this, this feeling, this connection that my brother loves you. You know what? Enough about him because this is no time for him, okay? We just arrived. I'll take you straight to your room. You shower, then later I'll take you around. Then we'll go have dinner. Is that okay? Uh, have you no head? Go and ask about me in the village. Mm. I am the best cook anyone has ever seen. Nice one. Don't no, worry, I'll cook for you and you will love it. That would be nice. But we'll still go around so that I can show you around. Mm. Yeah. It's okay. Let me take you to your room, okay? okay. Hey, this thing is glass. <laughs> Let's go, let's go. You'll see more of it later, okay? <laughs> hey, see you. That is quite expensive. I'll show you to your room, all right? Hey! <laughs> Come, you'll you see more of it, okay? I know this one. Ah. Jangolova. Nice, nice. I know this one. What is this? Uh, um, that's a chandelier, actually. I'm very excited. Don't worry, let me show you to your room. Come on, let's go, let's go. You're cracking me up this time. <laughs> let's go. And you see the food, hope it tastes good. Mm, mm. This is one of the best meals I've had in recent times, trust me. <laughs> How do you mean? I'm honest here, this is this really tastes good. Never knew you could cook this way. Do you know what I like about you? Your honesty. Mm. And you're such a good person. Mm. I just thank God for the day that I met you. God bless you too. Mm. You know what? I'm glad I chose you. I made the right choice for my brother. You did. You did. Don't mind some useless people who want to make me to lose my God-given luck. See, Onyeka really did a lot for me. And I'm grateful. I really appreciate everything he has done for me. But it's just that I don't just like the way he's just going about the whole thing. And it's really making me to hate him. Please forget him and live your life. Enjoy yourself. I almost forgot. I'll make sure you finish your schooling abroad. My brother will make sure of that, okay? So just hey. enjoy yourself. That is if becoming a nurse is what you want. Hey! What do you See, Sophia, it's not like I don't know what I want, so... I know what I want. It's just that, you know now, at times when you take some certain decisions, I, I really do not want to take any decision that will hurt anyone. So I'm just... Chidera, <sighs> listen up. Just listen to me. Don't you ever feel bad for making a decision that will upset anybody. You're not responsible for anyone's happiness. You are responsible for your own happiness. Okay? I mean, if anybody wants you to live a life in misery because of their happiness, girlfriend, that person shouldn't be in your life in the first place. So, have it in mind and make your own decision, okay? Right now, I want to enjoy this food because it's so delicious. Okay? <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> ah, this thing is very sweet and I like it. <laughs> enjoy it, my dear. Yeah, she's here. Let me give her the phone. Okay. Hello? Hello, Miss Hi. I'm fine, and you? I'm okay. Thanks for asking. 
Have you guys said we are in the city now? Yes. Oh, great, great. And um, actually, yeah, I was waiting for the right time to do this. I'm afraid it might be. I'm going to you before then. I've had story that I'm scared. I think I have to take the big question. Um, yeah, I love you. I know it's funny to say, but I'm just. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Please, you my name. Are you there? Uh, uh, Hello? Yes. I'm here. I know I'm not getting it right. I should have waited until I visit the country. But to this present situation, I have to do it. Please answer me. Will you marry me? Yes, I will marry you. <laughs> ah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I don't know how happy I am now. I can't wait to come home and finalize this in front of me. Thank you. Thank you. I got to go. Wait. 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 Hello? Hello? Uh, uh, mm. I think his boss walked into the office, so that's why he went off the phone. I'm so happy. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sister. <laughs> I'm so happy. You know what? This calls for serious celebration. Let me go get us some drink. I'm coming. <laughs> Um, each year, Ike. You know, uh, swollen scrotum is heavy, not because of its size, but because of its position. So, are you saying he cannot make it? Is that what you say? Ogo. One nebu araji, one nebu te okofia. No, he cannot make it. And that is exactly why he has pleaded with us to come and plead with you. Good. To do what exactly? <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Well, I my job when I wake up, but my will go free. To do exactly what I've explained to you earlier, that we should go ahead with the traditional marriage rite. <laughs> <coughs> How would that be possible? She will need her husband around so she can present the drink to him. Okay, say me. <laughs> oh God. Uh, like I said earlier. Mm -hmm. We are still saying the same thing. Anything or anybody can be used to represent Kenneth. Uh -huh. So this then uh, he has, Kenneth has assured us that the white wedding will take place there in abroad. Yes. So, and all of us will troop abroad. Hey. Ogo, eh? you, one passport. You, one passport. Your other daughter, one passport. As for this one, I is covered already. Yes. And this is, they've been, they've been traveling. Yes. And my very self, one passport. That will not be possible. He must be here. If that marriage must go on. Uh, but, um, uh, my dear Odera, I thought you and my son discussed this and you both agreed on it. Yes, ma'am. Then what? Mm. what? What is it? Odera, come out here! You did? Come out here! Odera, how could you agree to something like that? Hey! Oh, mama. See, let's just do this thing fast. So that I can go and join my husband over there. Oh. And besides, they just told you that the white wedding, every one of us will go there for yeah. it. So why are you still complaining? Yeah. Hey. Now calm down. You see, Chere Kwanu, Chere Kwanu. Chidara! Chere Kwanu. Hey, Chere Kwanu. Because, hey. I, look, I'm not, I'm not disputing this. Because if you keep searching for Ngbong Kwanu, you discover Ngbong Kwanu. 
Eh? Eh, there's uh, no time to waste. This is why I'm strongly behind my huh? daughter. Eh? I'm strongly behind her. Yes. Eh? Hmm? Is that what you want? Ma, please don't spoil this for me now. Hey! Uh -uh. See, do you know what it means to, to study abroad? Oh. I'll be completing my nursing school there. Oh. Yes. Hmm. Mama, then from there I will now travel to America. Mm -hmm. hmm. And start any dollars. Hey. Mama, don't you, don't you want Obama's money? Yeah, I'll be sending you dollars. Who do you like to tie white man's Don't you ever ask me such stupid questions. I'm to tie white man's rapper. Papa. Sampo. Papa. Tia Roba. Papa. Hey, 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 I guess it's because 
because he's busy over there. I thought he explained these things to you. Yes, he did. And he also told me that he'll be coming to the country in six months. And do you know when he said that? Three years ago. It's been over three years. Eh? I, 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 I don't know what, I'm too tired. This is no longer funny now. See, see, please, just calm down, okay? Nothing is going on here. Just focus on school. Get the best of grades and come out. And I'm sure once you're out of school, you go over there to meet Oh, sis, you don't understand, eh? See, if anyone had told me that at this time,